Welcome, lounge lizards. I like lounge lizards. Do we like lounge lizards? I like lounge lizards. It works. Yeah, because we can get some lizard icons going and stuff, like emojis and stuff going in there. Welcome to another episode of Legion's Lounge, episode 19. We are your hosts. My name is Trevor 16 Shooter on Instagram. My co hosts are uber talented toy photographer Nate Strong, Pro to Four. Seven, everybody. Instagram. The host of the awesome and informative Door Clear podcast show on podcast platforms everywhere and right here on YouTube. Uh, Bill Janowski. Bill? What's going on, guys? How are you? Hey, Bill. Door Clear on Instagram and Door Clear on YouTube. Guys, how's it going? It's going great. Ben, this is very exciting. We got an exciting, exciting show here. We got an exciting, exciting guest. I cannot wait. We do indeed. Um, <clears throat> we've got a bunch of people in here. Um, tell your friends, man. Get him on here. We should somebody uh, taking over. Is, is Michael Casper still doing something on the cabal or something like that? Opening stuff up and pulling on away my audience or what? <laughs> <laughs> Wishing people. We got birthday. Dave. We got Curtis. We got Scott. Uh, we got Toy Carpets. We got uh, Colin and uh, Noah Pratt. Anthony House Seal. Staying awake. Bearded Builds. Motu Guru. David Williams. Hedgehog Action. Kawabunga Dude. Wing or Lose. What's up, man? Um, Scott Baker, tatted. Hey, thanks to David uh, Williams Alberto too for Madonna. promoting uh, an IG for us. That was cool to see. Yeah, that uh, Kevin too from Toying Around. Yep. Right um, on. Steph's here. What's up, brother? Oh, hey, Steph. What's going on, Steph? He's awake. He's uh, holding the newborn. Uh, Reese, congrats. That's right. Congratulations yeah. on the uh, the young one, the youngling. Patrick. Yep. Um, we, we got some new, there's some news. I think we're, we, we might work it in towards the end, um, and discuss it with our guest. Um, because I'm, I know he's got some thoughts on it, uh, as well. Um, he's, he's into it. So we'll dispense with the news at the front, but maybe we'll, we'll cover it later on. So let's get right down to it. Uh, our special guest tonight is an award-winning actor. Uh, he's a director, producer. He was, uh, one of the stars of the highly acclaimed series on Netflix, Ozark. If you haven't seen Ozark, my God, watch Ozark. It's a <laughs> roller coaster ride, man. It's like if you if you like, you know, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, those those shows that just <clears throat> wrap you up emotionally every episode, and you like you gotta yeah. have another one, right? It's like, awesome character. Gotta great gotta writing. see what happens next. Oh, incredible. He played uh, to great effect the ruthless head of the Navarro drug cartel, Omar Navarro. Um, <laughs> That's going to happen every once in a while. I'm still getting over COVID. Uh, he's acted in numerous films, including The Forgotten, Man on a Ledge, Arbitrage, uh, TV shows, Fringe. Remember Fringe? I loved Fringe. Great Fringe show. Was a great show. I like that um, show. Nurse Jackie, Law and Order. Love Law and Order. Charmed. Great show. And most recently, The Rookie, uh, where he went from playing a, a, a drug cartel head to an FBI agent in The Rookie. So he's run the gamut of the legal um <laughs> acting spectrum um so why is he here on the legions lounge well i have no i have no idea why he agreed to be here specifically except that he's a very nice person and he is a toy collector who has recently added some lines that are near and dear to our hearts um so let's give a big legions community welcome to felix solis felix hey, felix <laughs> welcome sir did you get Hello. that troll out Look at oh, that. look at him. I, I got him completely wow. out. He's yes. Out. <laughs> He's out and in full effect. He is free. Oh, my goodness. The soft goods are so sexy. <laughs> this is your first troll? This is the first troll, yes. This yeah. is the first troll. Although I got the others on order. I went ahead and jumped on that uh, All-Stars yeah, yeah. turnaround. Nice. Back, Did you... I remember on Kevin's show you were saying you were talking about getting another forest troll for the other head. Did you end up getting another forest oh, troll? Yet, but I'm I'm on the hunt. Here it is, and I'm okay. Take All right. This will find a body soon. Yeah, I love that head. Both of heads are awesome. on, Trevor. That's very sweet of you. It's very kind of you to ask me to be on. Well, I greatly appreciate yeah. you saying yes. I mean, I know yeah. this is not. Uh, I mean, after having seen you on Kevin's show, like I, I would have thought that you know, I mean, this is not where an actor wants to be but quite frankly after watching that entire I thing i think that, i think you do I, like i think i think <laughs> the YouTube only and toy shows, hanging out uh, with your like, people right yeah. Felix? 
That's right. Like a ball player go and see another baseball game on his day off? No. <laughs> actor doesn't want to hang out with other actors on his day off. There you go. Collectors. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, How are you, Bill? Like, Good, man. How you been? You Long remember time. me, right? Of course. You, you, I went, so, so New York Comic Con 2018. I was at Comic-Con 2018. And, and I bought, I were, bought like, photos and I sent them to you. Yeah, and um, I, I I feel like was that day of where you're like, yeah, I'll come on and talk about um, Comic Con, right? And it was such My a good experience. episode. I I, yeah. I went back and listened to it. It's a great episode. Yeah, well, it's so nice cool. to see you, Bill. You too. It's so cool. Yeah, we have proof. We have a a, a t shirt. We have a shot of uh, Felix with the uh, door Claire t shirt. Right. Yeah, you, you were the first person to buy a door Claire t shirt. You might actually have been the only person to buy a door Claire t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Electors <laughs> item. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, and um, Trent, thank you for having me on. And hi, Nate. Uh, uh, it's nice to meet you. Pleasure, Felix. Uh, yeah, it's great. This, this um, awesome. Yeah, we're all huge fans. And um, so I want to talk a little bit about. Before we get into the toys, which is really what let's let's be honest, this is what we're here for. Um, but for the people who are unfamiliar with you, um, you were recently on Ozark. You are now do now. So you did the rookie. Now you're playing an FBI agent from a drug cartel head, which I have to say, you were a very like you were a scary dude on that show. Thanks. But like you came and and. Uh, Nate was telling us like an interview that he saw had seen with you where the, you you didn't go and look research like those heavy heavy guys like the heavies you know what I mean you you said you research business people yeah for that show which I thought was really cool and it comes yeah. across in that character totally like he is yeah. not I mean I had spent <laughs> I had spent the better part of the 10 years of the, the previous part of my career up to this point, shying away from that kind of character. You know, I, right. I, felt, of course. I felt a sort of responsibility as a, as a, as a Latin actor in the industry to sort of try and try and break that or try to, you know, stay yeah. away from the stereotype yeah. as much as I could. And so I shied away from it to the, to the expense of my bank account, to the expense of my stomach and my collection. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, most but, importantly, yeah. right, right, but uh, totally, but but uh, but something happened a, a couple months previous, about almost six months previous to getting the audition for Ozark. I wasn't getting the roles I was going up for. I was auditioning for these non-stereotypical roles, and I just right. wasn't getting them. I wasn't getting them, mm -hmm. and I thought, okay. And I was sitting in my car, and I was just like, all right, universe, here's the deal. You're clearly not giving me what I'm asking for. So I will humbly accept what it is that you think that I should be doing next. Whatever it is, I'll just pour my heart into it. And about Perfect. two weeks later, I got the audition for Ozark. And I was like, wow, you are testing me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you are testing me. And I took even, it. Even out. God is typecasting you. What the even hell? God is getting me down. <laughs> but, the, uh, but, uh, but then I just said, all right, well, if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, then I will. How do I find a way to sort of combat the stereotype of it all. And yeah. I thought the best way to do it is just go and take the most humanistic angle to just try to make them as human and as grounded. And, you know, I've said this story many a times and I don't mind repeating mm -hmm. it, but I wanted to make this guy the kind of guy that if you were waiting for a flight at an airport, you sat at the bar, you were having a beer, you met the guy and he told you what he did. He worked, you know, he has a business, an import export business and <laughs> I shared a beer and he was funny and you made right. you laugh and it was fun and you were like you're a really cool dude and then you went home and you turn on your news and there he is getting arrested for being the biggest drug lord in the new world and you go holy like that's not who that, i just was having a beer with that guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's such a great spin and yeah. i mean there's so many characters on that show that i mean are awfully bad people but we as an audience <clears throat> found ourselves liking them rooting for them rooting for and them. you were one of those you know characters where we yeah. knew how ruthless and awful you were, but we liked you. We rooted for you in a sense, yeah. you know. To Especially the then, you wanted to get your freedom. I like, just yes, you can get there. I just yeah. wanted you all to be friends. <laughs> I did could too. You, could you just please all be friends, like for real? <laughs> I did too. That was, you know, it's funny that you say that, Trevor, because that's actually one of the angles that I would take in scenes where I was, you know, 
being, you know, again, to, to use the word that everybody's using, ruthless. But it was like, but, but, but I don't have to be if you just understood that this is, this is the way things are. And, and, yeah. and, and who are you? It's a business. The better person you are. Like, find your better person, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what that whole what do you want, Marty, was all about for me. It was about what, like, who are you mm-hmm. in the inside? And then right. it comes across like this. That, that, made me, almost, that made me so anxious, man. And that, I mean, the whole show made me anxious yeah. the entire time. Like, like, you because know, because you were so like, likable, you wanted to trust you so much, and you know I what know. I mean, like, and that you're just waiting for this the real bad to come out. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, well, your like, your nephew oh, so being the jerk that he was, oh. I was like, you know, I was I like, mean, yeah, see, this guy's the jerk. Omar's yeah. a nice guy. Like he's he, just a businessman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was kind of relieved actually when. When I was told that there was a nephew coming in who was going to be ruthless, and I went, oh, "No, I don't have to be ruthless anymore. <laughs> There's someone else taking over that mantle." But uh, and but he did it, a fantastic job. Oh, he was so, yeah. much, so much of a good job that when I see when I see and then am humbled by the amount of accolade and, and attention or, or approach that people give me on the street, they always say, they go, oh, we hated your nephew. And I was like, <laughs> I was like thank you. I'll let him know because that's a compliment. To <laughs> it is. It yeah. is actually. You know, it's yes, a compliment. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't want to delve too much into that, but it was, it's like, again, if you haven't want, it's, it's a weird, it's weird in that, like, like Breaking Bad, like you, you want the best for people who are, do not deserve it. They're terrible yeah. people. Like yeah. everybody's terrible, but you just want it to work out and like, yeah, you just want them to see the error and like get through it. I, I, mm. I, I don't know. It's, it's if you're an empathetic person, man, it's 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 a tough show to watch, well, <laughs> but it's great. Yeah. It's a well so written good. show, it's a well yeah. written show. Just amazing actors. I mean, obviously, yeah. your stuff and among them, just what a great cast. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. So, getting so acting, yeah. You've been acting like you've had parts since your mid twenties, right? I mean, like, yeah. or yeah, maybe before school. that. Uh, I left college. I left college. I got cast in the show. Uh, I did theater oh. throughout my childhood. I did. A, I was born and raised in New York City, so that's that was the outlet we had. If I was born and raised in Los Angeles, the outlet I would have had was television and film right from the onset. But as a sure. New Yorker in that city, you do theater. That's what you do. That's how you get to to act and be seen and showcase yourself. And right. uh, and so I started just doing a bunch of theater, and then I went to college, and I was in my maybe sophomore year, end of my sophomore year, and then uh, I got cast in a play at Dallas Theater Center, and I was like, well, I'm I'm working, I'm doing a job, and so I left school, I quit school, and I just started doing theater, a bunch. Of was theater. it in your mind to do that though, or was it just kind of you fell into it and it worked out? I, and no, then my, you started I mean, working yeah, and. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I okay. mean, my dad's, I, I'll never, my dad said, if they're stupid enough to pay you to do that, you should be smart enough to take it. <laughs> so, 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 and, and, you know, my dad's a plumber, he's a carpenter, he's an electrician, he's a builder yeah. with, with his hands. They're like, wait, they want you to, they're going to pay you to learn lines and they say those lines on. And I was like, yeah. Pretend you're somebody pretend. else. Pretend. Yeah, he's, pretend. He's like, wow, well, they're stupid enough to give you money. You should be smart enough to take it. But, uh, but, but yeah, I just sort of doing it and started. And started working uh, somewhat consistently, and and and, uh, and hung on to it, and hung on to it. But but it had a lot to do with some friends too. You know, I got my first television sure. job because a buddy of mine went to an audition, and uh, and didn't think he was right for the part. But he knew me, and he said to the casting director, "I'm not right for this part, but I know who is. Here's his phone number. Call him. Have him come in and audition. You won't." Wow, nice. miss- be mistaken you won't regret it and i got the job it was on a, a nice. tv show called the new york undercover uh it was like a, oh, yeah like it was like mtv meets a procedural cop show in new york city i remember that i remember yeah. that show yeah. the friend said to the casting director i think i know the guy so you know that's great that's that's not kind of story you usually hear in from acting you know i mean yeah. you hear that it's cutthroat but i have a feeling that it's not as as much as cutthroat as people make it out to be. I got to, I got to feel that people are kind of have each other's backs because you get somewhere, you're going to pull me up. Hopefully, you know, yeah. it's only, something. it's only, it's only cutthroat. If you are cutthroat, I think the, who, you no. know, applies to not cutthroat. It won't be cutthroat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah you, 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 you get back what you put into it yeah yeah, totally, totally. If you look at it like an adventure and it's joy and it's a, an excitement to try to go, I mean, you know, again, I liken it to a lot of the stuff that uh, a lot of the stuff that, uh, that that people talk about with athletes, you know, where they're like, yeah, Michael Jordan, you know, he missed however many hundreds of shots. They right. don't talk about that. They talk about the shots he made, but in order to make there those shots, he had to miss a bunch of them. It's sort of similar with acting. You you get rejected a hundred times and then you get one job. You get rejected a right. hundred times, you get another job. And so, you know, you kind of stick with it in that way. But I yeah. gave myself the idea that I said to this and we could, if you want, move on. But 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 I said to myself, well, listen, you, you decided you're going to do this for the rest of your life. And so you have the rest of your life to do it and succeed. And so, nice. Right. That yeah. pushed, pushed away any like I'm 50 and I'm about and I haven't made it yet. Like a right, right, right. You know, so, what, so what did you expect to get to this level? I mean, were you no? When you started out, did you feel like, hey, if I get some commercials, I'll be happy. I'm good. I can yeah. continuously totally. act totally. Through there, but totally. not totally. expecting yeah. to get a starring role at a in a wow. major series or anything no, like that. Not at all. Not at all. Not wow. at all. You just you, you go for it. You draw. You audition. You take it and you go. Now it's funny because it makes it sound like I don't care about it. I do care about it. I, oh sure. I care about it from the perspective of anyone else who would like a plumber. He wants to come. And he wants to fix your toilet, and he wants to make sure that when he leaves, your toilet works. And then you tell the next person, "Hey, this guy's good, and he fixed my toilet right. You should." Right. Use it. That's sure. the same way I approach it. I didn't go to like a, I, you know, I can't live without it or I, I, I was born to do this or no, it's just, it's a trade and I do it to the best of my ability. And, and hopefully that, that, uh, pays off. Good, uh, this grounded perspective. Humble. Yeah. It keeps me grounded, feet on the yeah. ground. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very I'll cool. So what do you think of that trip from uh, theater to uh, TV or movies, Felix? Do you like What's going that? back and forth, or now that you're in the? I, I, you know, it's funny, uh, Nate. It's 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 uh, it's a little less uh, uh, taxing to do to do film and television than it is to do theater. Sure. Yeah. yeah. There's a matter. day or sometimes two a day for a long run. I'm sure it could get, yeah, pretty taxing. Like yeah. That. Yeah. It, that can get eight shows a week. You're live. You're going live. There's no, there's no cut. Take a break. Watch your, look at your phone, take a sip of water, come back in, do it again. No. In theater, the lights come up and you're doing a two hour show straight through and there's no stopping. And then you're done and you go back to bed and then you get up and you do it again. Six, seven, sometimes eight shows a week. So yeah. it's a grueling, it's a grind it's a, that I can't even imagine that. And as an older, yeah, as an older person, you start to go like, eh, let me get the, let me just. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Although I have heard like sometimes even you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the musicians that go on tour for a long time, they feel like they've got a, you know, they've been doing the same song. What can we bring differently to the song? So I've heard people that are in plays like yeah, that, they find new ways to bring some new things, nuances and stuff to their characters. So Absolutely. I can imagine at least some of that training works its way into the other acting that you do then. Absolutely. It does. The discipline. Yeah. The discipline of, you know, like they say, the discipline of doing what you hate, but you do it like you love it. And, <laughs> and, and, and that's part of it. Part of it is like I did a show for 120. I did 120 performances of a show once with my theater company. Wow. And like by like yeah by performance fifty you're like oh my goodness like you're trying to do stupid things like dumb I was young like dumb. like have two sing through three beers before the show you learn that's not the way to do it like no like dumb shit. Yeah. But like, yeah. yes you learn yeah totally but uh, but yeah but People... it, it is a grind but then the discipline comes in the good thing about theater with that. Nate, to address what you said, it's just be, the play is always going to be the play. The writing will always be the same. You will always have to say this line. You will always have, always have to have this moment. You always have to do that. And so, therefore, that keeps you going because you have a, a, a sort of responsibility to tell that story that's been written. Right. So that sort of keeps you sometimes keep you in mm -hmm. the grind and keep you moving is that you still have to tell that same story. Right on. But, uh, but yeah, but it's, uh, you know, it's part yeah. of it. It's part of it. People are digging the way you're cuddling the troll the whole episode so Dude, far. He's yeah. the... I, I, I was going to mention he got you got a little spit up on your shoulder. <laughs> but, my goodness. He is baby size. He is kind of infant size. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was holding. I was holding my 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 friend's little daughter for dinner, and I was like, "You look like a troll." She was like, ah! <laughs> "Never mind." <laughs> 
so you did get in on the the, the new trolls. You got the you got. The I did. Sets. I got the yeah. I got the got set. Of me. So you got all all four yeah. of them. You can put up. I or? got the yes. I got. I got. I put them. I actually did that this morning. Uh, uh, I got. I jumped on this morning because I was like, did I get them? Did I not get them? Did I get them? <laughs> they didn't realize. And then I had to go through my email and be like, is there an order confirmation? There isn't. Let me get back on before I if I miss out. But yeah, there they are. So yeah. yeah, bringing this up, I have to ask Felix how you how do you get your legions info? Are you is it through email, social? Are you get? I get Facebook? yeah yeah totally totally I get it, and then I also jump on the on the store horseman. I, I just yeah. I just follow it. I follow it social media wise. I follow it mm. uh, on on the, on on the internet. I follow it at the website. Yeah yeah yeah. Good. Yep, these guys are cool looking, and these this couple of them that uh, people were waiting for. So that's that's the great thing about this. And I know you're kind of a wait. You've said on um, Kevin's show that you're kind of a wait till after everything's out, and then go and collect things, which is yeah. like, it's tough to do with this line. It's just really really it hard. Is. It is tough um, to do because the stuff line. is pricey. It you know goes I mean? up quick. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, no, it does. It does go up quick. And, and so and so there is times when I go, all right, well, this is my budget and this is what I'll stay with and I'll see what I can get and what I can find. And sometimes right. I'll go to shows and, and they'll yeah, be yeah. like willing to do the you know adjustments mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But yep. uh, And that's when we thank the universe for bringing us the roles that we have, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's some stuff that, uh, that isn't an interesting, it's an interesting, uh, uh, element of our, of our, of our world, of our society, of the collector society is, you know, do you, do you, do you pull the trigger immediately to make sure and lock it in? Or do you go, well, that's okay. It might be around. It might be around again. Oh, well, it'll be around forever. There'll be a lot of them and you'll be able to collect them. But do you even know mm -hmm. that, that hundred dollar figure that comes out on retail at four hundred bucks is gonna overnight go to three hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. You don't right. know. So so there is times when I'm like, do I and that's where I pulled the what I call the the it factor, which is so when you look at the figure, you see it for the first time. If your gut goes, I want it, <laughs> and you just get it. Then you just get it. Wow. You, uh uh as opposed to well maybe well, I don't know. I wonder if then you're like you know that's not the it factor. Yeah, the factor is like I, I gotta, gotta start listening to that voice a little bit more because <laughs> right. um, I got a pile of shit over here, man. I, I, and I look at stuff that I'm like, why the hell yeah. did I buy this? Why did yeah, I buy yeah. this? I just yeah. I wanted to. Half of it is you want to kind of hold it. You want to just have it in your hand. You want to yeah. see what it's like. Totally. And then you know I could I could turn around and sell this thing. I could put it right back in the box and never look at it again. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a weird thing, man. It's I came across I, I came across a couple of things that I held onto for this for this conversation that we were going to have that I didn't realize. I came across this Seventh Kingdom. Oh mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Cool. Yep. Was Great like, find. Ooh, yeah, I was like nice. I found it at this little local. Uh, used bookstore and they had a little uh, a little collectible section and I was like that's oh. pretty rad so nice. I like that and then Good I saw this one which is the Goliath Offices oh wow. very cool the Decimus Parabon yeah. and it was and it was and it's this is the I could be wrong if it's a if it's only been like that but it's a sort of clear uh, translucent fig oh is it yeah, I it's didn't like realize that. Black, clear, translucent fig. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of the Gothatropolis stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It's there's a lot of people who are like four horsemen completists. You know what I mean? That they right. just they want to get everything that the four horsemen have done. Sure. I picked up. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. And I don't. You know, I don't know if you know the players and all that. But uh, so one of the guys is Corn Boy. He's one of the four horsemen. And um, yeah. when they were at McFarlane, they did oh, yes. these toys. <laughs> Chaos face. And this is actually his his face on this uh, with his so cheesy good. mustache and everything. So and his, his ponytail, his real his ponytail, ponytail hair. That's right. It's real ponytail. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's fun to just pick up things like that here and there. Like I, yeah. the Gothatropolis stuff is pretty cool, man. I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, oh shit, I want to get that. I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> um, 
it's funny you're talking about like the it when you see it now now for the most part we're seeing stuff online and you see it and it's so easy to click boom it's shipping you know mm -hmm. but I, I remember like um getting i thought it was a good piece of advice when we used to toy hunt you know that was the thing you'd be running to the toys r us's and the targets and the walmarts i mean we still do that to some extent but sure. the big thing was but going in there seeing something on the shelf grabbing it yeah. And then someone said, just walk around the store with it for 10 minutes. Yeah, hold it. Right? And if you yeah. feel after the 10 minutes you still want it, then go get it. If not, go get it. Sure. But that now it's just like, now we just push a button, get it, and it comes home. And then you're like, did I really want this? Yeah. You know? I know. That's true. I do That's do that. I actually do walk around the store like that. And sometimes I'll just put it down. Put it back. Over yeah. in the next section or something. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to pass things up now because, I mean, everything is you know, limited edition, you're never going to find it. My Walmart, um, yeah, I know Felix, no. you were talking about um, hunting. And I don't know like where, like what it is near you, but I got, there's nothing, man. I think there's a guy like who goes to every Target and every Walmart. <laughs> <clears throat> he knows exactly when things are coming out and it's, it's gone. And he clears it's it out. Yeah. He clears it out. It's, yeah. it's sad. Yeah, It is. Uh, it is. Sad. I've actually seen it. I've actually seen the very thing oh, yeah. that everyone talks about. I've been, I've parked my car at a parking lot in Target and I've been walking towards and I've seen the back door open and the guy come out with a box that's got a Hasbro label on it and the, the and then he hands it off to somebody else and I go, wow, did they just take the whole <laughs> run. Oh, run. No point in me going in now, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Hmm. I actually but, found yeah. a figure in store like two weeks ago i was yeah. super pumped like it just yeah. never happens these days it just, yeah. the shelves are always empty yeah. and i was all excited i saw it was either ahsoka or it was that wave with like ahsoka and um and uh Death fennec Watch. shand i think it was fennec yeah. shand that i picked up yeah nice. and, uh, i was so pumped that i saw them in store i just i, I grabbed it even though i had it on pre-order i was like I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this one right yeah. and then here's, here's and here's the interesting thing about that when there isn't anything then there's that like I don't want to leave without, and then you <laughs> if you don't want, see what yeah. I'm saying? You know, you're like, yeah. oh well, there's only four of this wave. I'll get that, and then you go home. And you're like, why did I buy four of these weird looking <laughs> Stranger Things figures? And you're like, wait a minute, right? <laughs> like, the show. like all of that business, and you're like, why did I just do that? That, that, that happens to me oh, with, with sales. Like there yeah. was, this, you know, like there'll be like a sale on on I don't know deep discount or on Hasbro Pulse this past week, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I was and I'll be like, I, I gotta get yeah. something. I gotta utilize the sale, you know? And uh, and I always end up getting something. <laughs> yeah, no, you do. You're like, whatever. I, I try to, what I've been trying to do now is discipline myself to get to the point where like, okay, if there's a sale, troop builders. <laughs> right. So I'll just go for yeah. the troop. Is there, is there a troop builder on sale? I'll pick that yeah, up. And it. It'll yeah. satiate yeah. the totally. thing. If you're like, right. Oh, already got this princess leia like i already got it but it's only ten dollars but you already have it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so much you're, my so son you're, and i walked into troop, target you're last troop week. building princess yeah. leia is this what you're yeah, saying yeah, yeah. Tell me, <laughs> is there any kit bash or is there any custom that I so. I was say my son and I walked into a Target last week and you know toy hunt and we walked out with nothing. He goes, when I walk out of a store with nothing, I almost feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> like, totally, I almost feel guilty. Nothing like, up. yeah, like you yeah, messed like, up completely. It's funny. Funny. This is an interesting question. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Well, I don't know. Did Felix have any fellow cast members that shared the same interest in collecting? No, but I ever a funny story. Okay. I, it was the first day that I was working, and ironically enough, the first day that I worked, I mm -hmm. shot the first scene that my characters introduced. So it's when, uh, for those of you who have seen the show, spoiler alert if you haven't, it's when it's when Wendy uh, approaches, gets on the plane, and she meets Omar Novar for the first right. time. Laura Lenny, amazing. Laura Lenny, God, incredible. This talent, and yeah. an even better person. And, uh, and, uh, and so she's, so she's on. And so I write a lot of notes in my scripts. I bring my scripts with me to work and I have a, I jot it down. I do a lot of actioning. I do a lot of science on the page before I do my thing. Hmm. And, uh, and so I had it and I pulled out a pen that I had bought at celebration in Chicago. It's a Yoda fountain pen. So I pulled it out and I started writing notes and Laura goes, what is it that you're writing with? <laughs> 
And I was like, what? No. And I put it away real quick. I was, like, and I was like, what? What are you talking about? Nothing. And she went, Jason, Jason. And she calls Bateman over and she's like, did you see what Felix is riding with? And Jason's like, what, what, what? And I went, fuck. And, like, the Yoda. and then they were like, oh, M G, <laughs> nerd alert! <laughs> and they just they rode me for like an hour, and I was like, guys, don't make me get serious about the character. <laughs> I'm just letting you know my Did you show yeah. them your pocket fig? Totally, they ride. They 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 rode me a little bit as actors. Now there yeah. are a bunch of people who I will share proudly this information with. That there's a lot of people behind the scenes who are huge. Oh yeah geeks and nerds and star yeah. wars fans my makeup uh, hair, hairstyle my hairstylists my makeup artists they were all they all came with uh, uh, star wars t-shirts every day That's just cool. nice yeah we shared a bunch of stuff i came with some kind of star wars gift every day that oh, nice. grogu painting is uh is oh, yeah. uh, is is uh what's his name greg uh uh He's the one that does the paintings where you see the reflection in the eyes. Of oh, the oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah. I know what you're talking about. Wagoner, 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 Wagoner. Yeah. So that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. Wagoner that they bought me for my 50th birthday party. Didn't know he did a Grogu. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he did a Grogu, and it's got wow. the in his reflection. He's so he's you can't Mando. see his light, but he's got he's drinking the 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 broth, yeah. and it's the shot where where uh, Cara Dune and Mando are on the floor pointing their guns at each other. They stop and they turn and they look and he's slurping. Oh wow, that's great! <laughs> that's what's in his eyes in that painting. Nice. But that oh was gifted God. to me love by the people who who were in the hair and makeup department. It was that's so nice. great. That helps sitting in the chair for hours. You got a lot to know. Yeah, yeah about, they had right? a lot of tattoos they had to cover and so on and so forth. And so and so yeah, we shared a lot of that stuff and we talked about floor and. And and uh, and the and the different universes and the and uh, you know the novelizations and all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, that's it's awesome. Been, so yeah, I have fun. I have heard the story about and Trevor just mentioned the pocket figures. So yeah. you know, every time I well since I've heard that and I've seen you in those scenes where you do come across as this ruthless drug lord. Just imagining you've got like a little Yoda in your pocket while you're just cracks me up, and I love it. So <laughs> you maybe want to share that real quick with people who haven't heard it. I always carry an action figure with me wherever I go. Yes, and it's nine out of ten times it's a Yoda figure because I'm a Yoda. I'm a super Yoda. I'm a big Yoda focus collector. Yeah, <laughs> totally. And uh, oh, I just picked something up that that Bill might not like because he's probably a Red Sox fan. But I picked up a Yankee bobblehead that's a Yoda. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And uh, yes. and there's uh and and there's just so many. So I just carry I just carry figures around with me wherever I go. And you know when I uh, when I met Paul Lee, I met Paul Lee who who plays uh, um, oh my god, his character's name just went out the window. He's the Asian bearded X wing pilot on Man. Oh Paul, character. yeah, Carson Tava, yeah, yeah, Carson mm -hmm. Tava. So I met him in Vancouver. We were working in a friend mm -hmm. of ours who owns this great store in, in, in uh, Vancouver called Toy Traders, uh, where I went and bought a bunch of stuff. He invited us all to dinner. Long story short, I brought him to this a really high end steakhouse. Yeah. And I walked in and I had a, a hologram Count Dooku. <laughs> and I brought my uh, hologram Yoda to fight him, and I put them on the table in front of me. <laughs> I had a steakhouse. And I was like, what? I brought my friends. That's great. Felix, now you're going to have to get a backpack to take that trollo iron with you. Can you imagine whipping that out on a table? No good. I don't mind it. I'll tuck him under my arm. Why not? Yeah, you need a, you need a baby Bjorn. You can just put it right on the side. <laughs> <Yeah. and laughs> They're so great. They're done so well. The detail and, and it's just ridiculous. On the yeah, screen. so the details. What, yeah. how did you get – so I know you were in I, I, you were into Dungeons & Dragons. Your brother was a, D, a DM. A DM, um, yeah. And did you play with him or did you I just did. watch? I did. I, I okay. did. I pestered him. I, he's, he's my older brother. I pestered him a lot to let me in on the game. And, okay. the game. and it was always like, you're too young for this. You're too young for this. Right. right. And, then, and then he finally let me in. And, and, and so the world. So for me, this world is directly connected to my history with Dungeons and Dragons. Right. Yeah. So that's so is that's what drew you to the Mythic Legions in the first Absolutely. place. Just that, yeah, it was the same thing with me, man. I started seeing like knights and yeah, I'm like dude. wait, there's a there's an action figure line yeah. with knights. There was a big, was a big <laughs> hole that was just waiting to be filled, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And and it helps too that that again, it's that it factor we were just talking about like it helps that when you see the figure from initial instinct you're like this is beautiful to look at. It's yeah. actually beautifully sculpted. Yeah. And then you get into the whole 
wait, I can pull that guy's arm off and put another arm in? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> and, oh, then, then you're off to the races because then so- you're – do you customize like that? Do you pop and swap them I, I, and stuff I do. like that? I do, yeah. Nice. I horse around with some of them. Yeah, I horse around with some of them. I'm cool. a little afraid of like pulling limbs and things because I don't want to break them. But but uh, but yeah. I think I'll do the hair dryer's your friend. Hair dryer. <laughs> yep. This little heater back there, but but uh, but I do. I like to play around with with changing stuff. I don't go too crazy. I, I'll 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 swap some heads maybe. And, and share some some weapons and things, but yeah, yeah. We'll have to get you uh, in on our. We had a pop and swap contest, what guys, a few months back. So we'll yeah, it was great. We had hundreds and hundreds of uh, of entries. It was a lot of fun. It was yeah. it was really really good. Ninety uh, percent of them were black and red, but other than that, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It's a great combo. That <laughs> is. Um, favorite race character type from D and D and or Mythic Legions? Do they correspond well, I was... or? I, I was always, I was, uh, I was always given the sort of elf character. Uh, mm-hmm. My brother was always like, "You're, you know, you're into the." Sort oh, you didn't of have elf. a choice. <laughs> yeah, he gave me what it was. That's an older brother. Yeah, it's yeah. an older brother being, you know, the one he'd just be like, "You're elf," and, and that's all there is. But, uh, but, but I would, I, I would always end up playing the elf. Although, although I did privately study wizards the whole time, so just be like, mm-hmm. there was something. Just it's always, I'm always into the the magic of it and, and uh, the wizards yeah. are looking really good from the from that next wave boy those yeah, are looking Fox's really wave. really cool can't wait for those um did you so when did you get into that are you getting like the alithia wave is is that yeah. were you okay so you were in for that. in for that so you've been you've been doing it for a while a couple of years yeah. at least yeah, yeah. No, i got uh, let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve eight fourteen I got about forty figures. Wow! Right. Yeah. 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 That's a good story. You, yeah. How, how, how were you introduced to the line, Felix? How did you first come across them? Where did you? I came them? across. I came across it listening to uh, uh, Robo on, uh, on, uh, on on his podcast on uh, on the swoop on the Fush. The Fush, right? Yep. Good. Yeah. Robo, yeah. who I have to kind of constantly prod when there's another yeah. Mythic Legions drop. I'm like Robo. Don't Come forget on, Mythic Legions. Look this up. <laughs> yeah, he, I remember watching the, one of his uh, one of his uh, weekly uh, news yeah. things, and he, he he brought one up, and I'm like, "Whoa, what is that?" And that's when I then yeah. started digging it up. Yeah, and it, it's it, great it, dude. Yeah. And then I just, it, I just it, ran into him at Celebration, and I'm sorry you couldn't make it to Celebrate. You had to work, I'm assuming. I did have to work. I, I had to be here in New York, and and there was an opportunity for me to be in the last two days of it, but it would have in, in, entailed me flying all the way from New York to Los Angeles yeah. and back within a day or two. And I was like, I couldn't do that. So well, you may have dodged a COVID bullet because it was <laughs> it was a lot of maskless people there, and it you was, know, it was uh, funny that, that that that's one I wonder. I was wondering whether or not there was a uh, there was a super spreader potentially event going on at the, at that at that area. They Everyone, said, they said that a lot of people working there were uh, the rumors that were people yeah. were dropping pretty pretty quickly day, yeah. daily. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. It's hard. I mean, it's still, it's still, it's still in a situation where it's difficult to bring a large group of people together. Still, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's the that's the hardest part. The hardest part is to how how can we safely all gather? Uh, we know how we can do it and be safe individually. Yeah. Uh, but but it's in the in the group settings that I think is still something. <laughs> and you still have to eat and drink, which is when you know I took the mask down to eat and drink, and you know there's occasionally I was cheering. I got to go to the um, the Lucasfilm panel, yeah. which was amazing. That's awesome. <clears throat> um, you know, I was telling these guys, a, a guy got sick like three rows in front of me, <laughs> like on the floor, and I'm yeah. like, that's probably the catalyst for a lot of things, including myself right there. But it but was. I mean, it's it's everywhere. I mean, you you know you and some of the celebrities I was surprised weren't wearing masks. Like you and wasn't wearing a mask when we went through yeah. the, the autograph line. It's a little a little touch and go. I mean, but the timing yeah. sucked. I mean, that was it did you know, suck. That yeah. was that was a, a rising time. Yeah, yeah you know, they hit it, they hit it right, yeah, at but... a, right at a peak again. Yeah. Yeah. Especially there. Oh, here's Kevin. That's the tricky thing with conventions. You have to plan them so far in advance. It's like you're yeah. you're gonna maybe get lucky yeah. and have it be at a downtime. Like we've sure. had, I think, some of the toy cons and the legions cons have we've been lucky. You know? Yeah. Knock on wood, fellas, for November. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. 
because uh, because the interesting thing about it is it is timing. It is it is also a kind of control, and and, and it's a very difficult thing that we're sitting in right now. I, my heart goes out to every single individual living in this world right now with this stuff, because you do have the right to not wear one, and you have the right to wear one, and it's now become a very uh, polarizing issue and and, and it's, yeah. it's a little upsetting because at the end of the day you kind of want to keep safe and you also want to keep those around you safe but but to make that decision is sometimes a a, a matter of opinion unfortunately mm -hmm. you have yeah. the right to have it so so yeah. i have to you just have to make choices like yeah i'm not going to go to that big event or I'm yeah. Not, yeah you know do you think you'll do london <clears throat> yeah I, i'm oh, yeah? Super, i've never been to london Oh, oh, you're gonna love London. So, so, so there's no better time for me to go to London. For oh, the that's Perfect. awesome! Celebration. Now, Dude, will, your, will this be a, a, a vacation with your wife as well? Will she? No, no. Okay. She gives me the she gives me the freedom to just, just yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with this. You that's my wife too. Me. It's I, like yeah, you have fun. You have fun. I just with told that. I just told her so I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna talk to the guys about toys, and she went close the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you need a wingman let me know felix <laughs> there we go <laughs> yeah, just, just so close the door. <laughs> you have uh you have also have a very good you have a, i'm sure your wife is lovely you have a very good boy uh named yeah jackie, jackie robinson, robinson. Yeah, jackie. nice what a good boy yeah. Now, does Jackie have the run of the collection room, or is Jackie kept he, out of the it's collection? It's funny. Room? It's funny. He, I, I sort of, I, the first thing I did That's when face. He, he's a good one. He's a good one. <laughs> uh, uh, the first thing I did when I when I rescued him is I spent a lot of time with. Him. Oh, he's he a had, rescue. Great, awesome. He is a rescue. Yeah, I saved him from a a, a fighting ring in in California. Oh, it's a great story, Felix. And uh, thanks. And so and so the the so I took him down and 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 got him away from that stuff. And then the first thing I did was learn how to how to train him properly. Try to train him uh, uh, to succeed, not to mm -hmm. fail, and not to. And one of the things was to allow for him to know what was accessible to him and what wasn't. And Good. so I did it, and I, at the risk of possibly losing a couple of my figures in my collection, I did the the, res the the respectful and kind thing, which was to teach him what to leave and what not to yeah. leave. And so now he looks at figures, at the, and he's like, "No, now stuffed animals, I gotta be." Good. <laughs> well, you can't. You gotta give him something. For yeah, I, get, I let him. I let him throw down with some stuff. I, he, I, there's a couple of photos. I don't know if I should. I, maybe I'll post them on Instagram, where I I drove with him from Los Angeles to Georgia to start Ozark. Oh uh, wow! I, I put him on a plane, so we drove across from from Los Angeles to. We were living wow. in LA. We drove across to Georgia, and it's great because La Quinta in hotels are 100% uh, dog, dog friendly. Food. Yeah, no cool. question asked. So anyway, so we would do that, but there, but there are a lot of trashed hotel rooms along <laughs> that route. <laughs> He takes down the pillows. I was just gonna say, can yeah. you send up some extra pillows? That yeah, yeah, <laughs> totally. And I'm like, just put it on my tab. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> but, uh, so, so plushies, I got to be careful with. So if there's any, mm, yeah, I got mm -hmm. one little. Somebody sent me a really nice. Uh, uh, here, yeah, it you is. got the hey, Yoda uh, plushie there. You got a they're they're really nice little, little Grogu's and stuff you know, like that. Right. And then somebody sent me this. Oh, that's awesome. Don't baby. Yeah. So Great. I put so he saw the minute I pulled out the bag, his literally his eyes lit up. I was like, I'm gonna put this high up on a shelf, right? Now. I'm not gonna mess with that. They're but such yeah. smart dogs, man. They're they're very smart dogs. They're very smart. Uh they sweet they are too. they're very sweet, they're very kind, and 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 that unfortunately that that pendulum swings in both directions with that smartness. Like just as smart they're so smart that you can teach them how to kill. Just as easy as you can teach them how to hug and kiss. Mm, so, yeah. so it's yep. just really the, the, the human behind them that is the most crucial thing. But that's but it. yeah, that's my that's boy. Exactly. That's it exactly. That's so it. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was Nate. just gonna say just that to swing it back to Legions real quick. So mm -hmm. you mentioned, you know, a favorite or at least your a forest favorite was elves. But yeah. do you, so do you lean towards collecting those in Legions or do you have favorites in Legions or do you like I do. I, you know it's funny it out? I, have very, I have very little armor in my collection i have very little armor stuff i have mostly creatures and ghouls and 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 uh and and those kinds of characters yeah uh i have a couple of the armored characters but mo they're mostly uh yeah yeah they're mostly the the, the ghouls and the 
and the, uh, the the troop builder kind of ghouly ones. And I also like the horned characters, right? Because yeah. I'm a huge, like, I, you know, I remember watching Legend and being like, oh, right? right? Yeah, that was great. Also, Gore, that's, he's totally that's like Legend. <laughs> that's it. And I saw that and I was like, I'm getting that, you know? And, and, yeah. uh, and so, so I lean, I lean, excuse me, the ones that I was able to find and collect are more, less knights, less armor, and more the ghoulish and, are you into the uh, the lore much at all? Do you have you read? I've been, I've been slowly, yeah, and, I've been I've been slowly reading it and slowly going through it. It, it. It's it's broad and it's beautiful and it's expansive, and so I kind of I have to be careful not to let it overwhelm me. And all of a sudden, I can't. I'm not. I don't know what I'm reading. You're right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So I take it. I take it really sort of slow. I mm -hmm. study it sometimes. Like I'll literally pull a box or I'll pull a fig and a card back and I'll, I'll just before to go, I go to bed, I'll, I'll read a little bit about it and study it a little bit about it. Sure. But, uh, you know, but I take a little bit at a time because it is so expansive and so beautifully uh, put together that I don't want to all of a sudden, like, I don't know what the hell's going right. on. You know? and, and it is. And, and yet at the same time, it's not so steeped in like an, like a, an IP, like a star Wars thing mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. uh, we know a big draw for this line is that it can be whatever you want it to be. So um, for, totally. for everybody, it's a little something different, but it's great Absolutely. that it's there if you want to dive in and mm -hmm. and it keeps mm -hmm. growing. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. sure at some point you'll release a, 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 some kind of, you know, a book form or history form of it in a, in a some sort of novelization yeah. that if somebody wanted to sit and study, like a study guide, if you will, or something mm -hmm. like, sure. uh, that you could. But 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 for me, it's also it's uh, it's. And this is, a, I mean, a weird reference to bring up right now, but it's kind of like a G.I. Joe situation where you would buy your figures and then that file card, you sat with your figure and read that file card to learn <laughs> about it. what you were holding. That's and that's a, great, that's a great tradition to adhere to, which is, is cool. what you guys are doing, too. So For there sure. is something about that where you crack the fig open, and you're holding it, you're playing with it, you're posing it, and then you sit yeah. and you think about that person. And the great thing about it, like, I, when I got into them, I wasn't into the the storyline and all i was like like you it was just like this is fantasy figures and i just i love frank frazetta and i love yeah, D, &D. and uh, skeletons were my thing because yeah. getting a figure that looked anything like the ray ha harryhausen stuff that i loved oh, yeah. man was oh, yeah. incredible oh, yeah. and uh but i got into it and and now i kind of you know do when i'm doing pictures and stuff i do sort yeah. of adhere to it which are really like good by the way trevor they're really fantastic brother you thank you sir a lot of those things <laughs> thank and, you. And it's, so, no i mean I, I it's really fantastic and it's it's part of it it makes it you bring them to life in a way that's really enjoyable brother i need to i need to take a moment to say thank that you. I'm, I'm thank not you very much it, i'm just I'm, I'm telling the truth it's it's legit so check out my friend Nate stuff uh, later yeah. on too because there's a whole there's a whole group of people that, that yeah. do this. Um, I get, I'm lucky enough to get to do it for the guys, and, yeah, yeah. Um, which is really cool. Um, but it just came out of love, you know what I mean? Like love mm -hmm. of the figures and just yeah. just uh, they're 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 very inspiring. Um, and and this is my form of and I think with toy photographers, it's like <clears throat> it's our form of acting. I wanted to be an actor or a director or a comic yeah. book artist. Yeah. And I became a designer, which yeah. is fine, but yeah. this is my outlet. This is where yeah. I get to do my creative, tell my stories and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Exactly. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cosmic Legions. Uh, is Felix excited for Cosmic Legions? I'm all in. The question. I, I bought the all in package. I'm all in. There you go. Excellent. I'm all in. <laughs> They're cool looking, man. I mean, they are. They are. And you know what? They're gonna. They, I, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something at the sake of getting beat up right now. I bet they're gonna look even better in hand. Oh, for sure. I bet they're actually gonna feel even and look even better in hand. Yep. Are you saying that? Are you saying, Felix, that the, the <laughs> photos don't do them justice? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Because that's you what we're right here. Like, oh, yeah. the same. The same. No, I just mean like I saw them. And I'm like, oh, they're cool, dude. They had the it. I did it. I pulled the trigger immediately, yeah. all in. Because yeah. I was like, there's something that I'm gonna be able to look at this and like in hand and be like and see layers and more layers and more. Oh, layers. Yeah. It's such yeah, a yeah, common yeah, thing sure. with this line. Like I, I, I can't tell many of the mythic legions that. You know, I saw him like ah, I didn't necessarily have that it for me at first, and I finally pulled the trigger and I get it and I open it up I'm like, what the hell was I waiting for? Now that I have it in hand, this thing is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. So you're hundred percent, you're spot on. I yeah. mean, we just we know from 
past experience in Cosmic is going to be the exact same way. Totally. Yep. Totally. They look and feel better, I think, Ryan. Ryan is saying they absolutely do look better in hand. My friend says that all the time. I don't take offense to that. That's fine. They, they do look better. Um, that's fine. I'm, my feelings are not hurt. Um, but no, I mean, when you start moving them around, that was the thing. When I got the first one, it was a skeleton. And I started playing with it. I'm like, wow, there's something really like different about these figures. You know what I mean? And, and it was just, yeah. oh, man, it was love at first sight. It was, they're incredible. Um, yeah. Do you get into customs? We talked about this a little bit. Ryan also asks. <laughs> do you have you done that with star wars figures or anything like that have you like no, no. no. Uh, i haven't done it myself but i did okay. pick up a couple of pieces that were sort of custom made figures that i found at celebration in chicago and i was at celebration in chicago okay. I went to one of those like it's the first time i'd ever done it those what they call yeah. room sales room like at the hotels where people are selling oh yeah 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 mm. cool. you know, i'd never done that before I, I did it with uh with this guy chris b with chris b and and uh uh, he just he was like you should go to these things. I was like I've never been, and I was like and he said let's go. And I went, and there were a couple pieces. There were custom custom Jedi figures, the three and three quarter inch uh, mm -hmm. Jedi figures that I was like whoa. So I, I spent uh, picking up a couple of customs, but no. As far as that goes, the only the 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 satisfaction I get from building things like I'll do the Bandai kit models. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot, a lot of them. I actually just picked up my. I want to say it's like the. Maybe tenth stormtrooper kit. You know? <laughs> wow, cool! Yeah, that's, that's a great kit, though, man. That's a great. Oh my god, it's so fun to make. Yeah. And so, so that's sort of that's where I get my fix on custom. Is gotcha. I feel like I'm, I'm just building. You're that. not diving into painting and all that stuff, that's really, cool. not yet. How familiar are you with the uh, mythic um, custom community? Because there's a ton of 3D printers and sculptors and painters, and yeah, I mean. It's just going to keep getting video. bigger and bigger. Yeah, there's a couple of cats who do YouTube videos that uh, this guy, OG Geek, and there was another guy who did it who who uh, who, who went to a uh, – they went to recently to, to here in, in, in Georgia. They went to uh, 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 Toylanta, and, yeah. uh, and there oh, was yeah. a couple of tables there that yeah. had some wicked customs. In yeah, there. there's amazing, amazing people that do stuff. Yeah, that, uh, really just – well, because it also that's again to a credit to the line is that you yeah. get you can do that because you can pull easy, you can swap parts easily, you can really let your imagination fly with it, you know. Yeah. And, uh, exactly. And part of that is that you start to add things that you know that make them truly custom. For sure. Yeah. This is, I I wish I could find everybody. I won't be able to to show everything, but this is like. Uh, it's our friend Emil, who was he was at uh, Legion's Con last year, but he does all these like customs of uh, like the Avengers and nah. uh, Magneto and Deadpool and stuff out of these. They're, I mean, it's incredible, man. The creativity, yeah, yeah. whole Marvel uh, uh, tribute, and Which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, here's his here's his uh, Captain America and Batman and yeah, yeah, incredible stuff. Um, yeah. It's it's a it's a talented. Um, community people in this in the yeah. line the community is a pretty amazing man it's it's uh yeah. i'm i'm it's that and people are making a living now out of making third-party parts for these things and what i love about i say this all the time i love about the four horsemen is that they not only allow it they embrace it they encourage it um yeah. it's incredible mm -hmm. i mean yeah. you know you yeah. have to buy their figures to use the other parts but sure sure they love it you know and, and we so. just yeah, had, yeah, not not only is it a talented strong. community, but it's a great group of people that, um, I mean, we we constantly are seeing that on the the Facebook cabal <laughs> group. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's like, I've been in a, I've been in the GI Joe community, the Star Wars community, and all these other, you know, Transformers. There's no community like Mythic Legion's community. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's I think that that's uh, another reason why the line is also uh, so unique. Is that there is a, there is a community behind it? There is a yeah. there is a supportive community behind yeah. it. I don't remember it, going to it starts with the Four Horsemen. They've they created this amazing line, and they they sort of foster all of that. So yeah, it's which big is tribute, cool. big tribute to those guys. Yeah, totally, totally. Well, you have a uh, from the straight poop who is there our, you go. our friend Chris who works at the Four Horsemen. I'm officially extending an invite Chris. for Legions Con and G Con in November on behalf of the studio, and awesome. if you can make it. When is it? It's Where a is lot it? of fun. So it's in November in New Jersey. So not too far. Hop, skip, and a jump from Legit. the hometown. Legit. Um, 
And November what? What is the what is the date? Somebody fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth, like sixth around there. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Yeah, so GCon, GCon is is they they the guys used to go to um, SDCC, and it, it's very expensive to do that. Sure. So they started to just do their own. They were kind of pioneers of this online thing that everybody's doing now, yeah. um, like the online cons. And so they called it G-Con. <laughs> and now they have uh, intern for a day there and they have people in and then they'll reveal the new wave. So they'll be doing a new wave here. And I got to tell you, you get to see it in person and pick them up. It's amazing. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Man. All right. I'm gonna if you can do it, that would be great. You, yeah, you got to go. You can do like, the brand I'm going to the universe and my schedule will free up in November and, and I will be able to hop. <laughs> yeah, That'd yeah. be fun. I'll have my people contact your people, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> You're contacting my people right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, it's just me. But uh, but yeah, that would be fun. That would be great. I love uh, you'd you'd love it. You would That's absolutely cool. love it. Do you, cool. you get seeing the creativity on you know? Yeah, just right there in front of you, and and even the displays that people put together just to show their stuff off is incredible. Yeah, and. Quite frankly, you can buy some old figures from the Four Horsemen for cheap. So, well, there you go, and then you can <laughs> sort of catch up on some stuff that I may have missed out on. Yeah. For sure, there you go. Yeah. There okay. you go. Uh, yes, Felix is going to collect Cosmic Legions. He's in, all in on that. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I know you've said you're not a real big social media guy, but mm -hmm. if you do find yourself on Facebook, the Cabal is the place to join for all things Mythic Legions. That's, I mean, if you're looking for old figures, if you want yeah. to get into customizing, you just want to hang out with super cool people. Yeah, the, yeah. The Cabal is it. Yeah. Create okay. a nom de plume, something like, I don't know, Omar. <laughs> Venaro, Omar, Omar or something like that. Venaro, you know, something <laughs> no. that ever figure out. <laughs> Somebody will ever know it's me. Just say you're Jason Bateman. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have kind of thought he was kind of a nerd. I I, I kind of pictured him as kind of being. He a, is. A he nerd is. Too. He is. He nerds out. He nerds out on 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 other things. He nerds out on film and television. You know, oh, okay. he's he's a big out sports on guy, golf, baseball. He nerds. He's a huge Dodger fan. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, okay. Like he he has his nerd outs. He has his nerd outs. They they have nothing to do with plastic, but 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 uh, but he does have them. Do you ever uh, listen to his um, Smartless podcast? I do. It's pretty do. funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. You wake up tomorrow and you're Todd McFarlane. Um, no, that's not good. You're not Todd <laughs> McFarlane. That would be weird. Um, but you do get to make your own figure line. Um, what is it? What what do you make? What what? materials or genre or what I, do you I think i'd have to say the first thing i'd have to do is 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 the the almost daunting task of figuring out what has not been done already yeah right that's true well, then there's that so that's we start true. with that right but for me you know what's interesting for me is there's something about mm -hmm. i'm i'm a city kid i grew up in new york i'm gonna grow up on the streets of new york so i'm a city kid so there's something about an urban something urban you know sort of mm -hmm. an urban superhero or an urban action figure that that's cool. just sort of, yeah that just sort of speaks to the streets and the urban kids who are you know the kids who also those are the kids i grew up with who collected too you know who were like and, and couldn't say they collected because it made them not look so tough for them right right you no know? and so and so i so like i i would i would look to maybe focus on a line that that honored the, the streets that i grew up in that's that's that would be actually pretty that's cool. Like, and even something like you know in the eighties, like some yeah, of the you know the hip hoppers totally. and the um, break dancers, like a break line dancers, break dancing cool. action figures. Absolutely, yeah. Wow, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the total it's, uh, break dancing action figures. You know, patented. <laughs> patented. Don't even <laughs> right, try to make that. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, I, I think you that, know, like that something happen. like that 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 that, that is that's got and and it has it has a root in the history, so it's not so you have a. a, a how do you a reference and a legend to, to go from and 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 yeah it would be something a super inner city street line of action figures did Wait, you pick up the the mezco hoods figure by any chance i was i was tempted i was yeah. tempted i'm just so i'm afraid of that company man because <laughs> 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 they take forever and then like it's a yeah. it's a it's a you know it's a thick it's a thick uh, collection to go through and and i have a couple mm -hmm. I have I have the Popeye that came mm. out at the, the mm. one that came out in the round tin can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was able to get that 
Barbarian, and then and then uh, and then maybe a couple of others. I think it may have a, a Frankenstein or something. But but uh, oh, but so. uh, yeah yeah. But uh, but no, I, I I'm I'm I, but I saw that and I saw the sort of the graffiti work on it, the hoodies and that kind of it, it, street stuff that, that I thought was great. It's also it's also it's also unique to uh, to the collecting community and and, and to and to, to action figures in general. But, but yeah, but I'm just I that's a that's I shy away from that company. Yeah, the hood stuff. I mean, when it's their property, it actually comes out fairly quickly. It's it's when they're doing somebody yeah. else's property yeah. that we're we're still waiting two and a half years for you know eighty nine Batman and stuff. Totally, like that. and I missed out on that Conan, so I'll, I'm never gonna. See oh, that. Conan! So I'll good. get the second one. I'll get the second. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Conan figures. Yeah, it's a beautiful figure. Oh, I got yes. right here. Were you are were you like a yeah. fantasy art fan too, or uh, I'm a yeah. Frazetta fan all the t all the way. Oh, okay, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Was, I have a Frazetta tattoo on my back. Yeah, oh, yeah. awesome, um, nice. Yeah, I have the lady in the fields, the lady in the lilies. It's a woman. Oh yeah, she's on oh, her yeah. on her knees and her yeah. arms open, and she's in a field of lilies. It's on my back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm a big Frazetta fan again because my him. brother, my brother was a comic book artist when we were growing up, as well as being a DM and. And he drew oh, wow. the fantasy stuff. He's really, really talented with the pen and paper and, and mm -hmm. pencil. And, and so he would do a lot of Frazetta stuff. And he was inspired by it. So, again, wow. yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan P says, we need more monster creatures, which makes me think about um, the Four Horsemen's uh, figure obscura line. How about, do you got any thoughts about what you'd like to see come from that, Felix? Well, well you know, Krampus, yeah, yeah, Krampus. And... I, got, I got it on. I got it on pre-order. I caught that last one that came out. That the re-release one is it? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the red, red one? one. The yes, the red one. Getting the red one. I I dug it. I uh, I uh, <laughs> Christmas was a thing that was sort of ruined for me as a kid. So I so I'm into like the the mean Christmassy feeling. <laughs> Characters, you know that's right you had to cut your list way down right that was yeah, yeah. Story, but, yeah. yeah i did i did i did when i found out that there was actually no santa claus and it was mom and dad busting yeah it's a good like, story. Yeah. Mm. I, I was like that's not gonna so 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 i'm into it i'm into it i picked that one up <laughs> uh uh I, i'm definitely excited to see that figure come in come in the mail and and, and uh but i did those again i love the horned figures and yeah the, did you the you didn't get the black one I didn't. I didn't get the. I didn't get a chance to. It was just. It was in and out. But uh, I'll but talk to you later. I got, I got an extra one. Yeah, I got a. I got a. I got a, grabbed a red one. Uh, but uh, but I dig it. I dig it. I dig that demon stuff. All that stuff that looks yeah. demonish and, and foolish and all of that. It's great stuff. I have to. I have to be careful about saying anything about like future things so like you guys can speculate on what that you might you think might come out. Like I mean, this is the kind of thing where they're doing like Bigfoot or the Jersey Devil or. Uh, chip, uh, what is it? Chop what is it? Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, chupacabra, chupacabra, yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. So, Sasquatch. I'm not saying any of those are coming, like, but yeah, like, uh, like a like a myth, uh, like Arthurian myth or something, like the Green Knight or something oh, like cool. that, or that'd be really cool. Something, also, something out of like European, Greek. yeah. I mean, I guess Krampus is European, but like, I don't know, something like, <clears throat> yeah, Krampus maybe is very Greek European, myth. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, um, we've we've talked about. Uh, we obviously know you're a big Star Wars collector. A little bit of Mezco. What else? What other toys are you into? I, I I mean I'm mostly I'm mostly dedicated to Star Wars. Uh, I did I did take a quick little detour into the uh, into the Plunderlings world. Yes, I heard, I heard that. They're, they're hard to resist. Those <laughs> little. Uppers. Fuckers! <laughs> they are cute. Uh, they are so, really cute. So I'm, I've been playing with those, and then I got some retro. I threw back retro stuff that I just that stuff that I remember as a kid being like, "Oh, I never had that," and so I got them. For example, uh, and this is going to be the weirdest thing I'm about to show you, but I collect <laughs> Smurfs. Oh, nice. Right? I like oh those. wow! Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got maybe I don't know maybe forty, forty-five of them that I've been yeah. sort of collecting slowly at a time. So I'll pick up my Smurfs. I'll 
I got a couple of Godzilla stuff that I like a lot, you know. Cool. Uh, eclectic, diverse, kind of like you little, said, whatever. Yeah, a little bit of everything now. Like I also, so Laura Linney was kind enough to give me, uh, she's a big. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. So I picked up, so she picked up one of these for me. And then, uh, so this is the, this is the, uh, the Playmobil. Playmobil and, uh, was it that makes pops? oh it was the crossover right the crossover, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 crossover so she she sent me one of these in the mail because we're both that is great Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Gene Wilder together so she oh, sent me one nice. of these and then I went ahead and had to go get another one two three four five seven of them. <laughs> you so can't just have one them. Oompa Loompa I mean you can't man. just have one Oompa. So once you were outed <laughs> as a collector on set they knew what to yeah they did and they they were kind and then they <laughs> that's yeah. great Uncle Playmobil that's right yeah this is this is and I love this line but yeah little things like that things that remind me of my childhood things that remind me of the things that I that I you know enjoyed as a kid, but 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 mostly my shelves are stocked with with Star Wars stuff. Yeah, David, um, they ended up on the grill with GI Joes. What what is that? <laughs> He's like uh, the Toy Story. Oh, What's the uh, Smurfs? The Smurfs. You killed them. You burned them. The Smurfs. Uh, what's that kid in Toy Story where he's like, um, I'm gonna oh, blow yeah, them yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, David. The Smiths in the California, or the Smurfs in the California. How, what are those Smurfs like? Are those are those like expensive now, or do they they just like uh, you can just pick them up no, for a few bucks funny. and? You can, yeah, you can you can go deep. You can go deep with them. I, I, yeah, there was I, a lot of them. I remember a lot of them coming lot, out back but, in the day. But, uh, you know, there's <clears throat> excuse me. There were there was the first line that came out, and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then there was another, uh, another. They did a, a, a they shifted uh, manufacturers, and then so the ones that went once they shifted from one man. I want to say what is it called? I think it's called. I can't remember. It's like it's a German company, a German manufacturing company, and when they switched over, then they. Uh, oh yeah, like Schlag or something. Schleich, Schleich, yeah, Schleich, yeah, Schleich, yeah. Schleich, Schleich or something, and yeah. then it became it became a lot easier to find. So the ones oh. previous to that manufacturer shift or. Are gotcha. pretty, pretty unique. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Do you is this Joe Joe Vega? Somebody you know? Yeah. Somebody knows your brother? Apparently. I mean, I feel like I didn't know you went to Legions. I tell your brother, give me my number if you ever do anything. Joe Vega. <laughs> okay, I don't know, but hey. <laughs> All right, he knows your brother. Apparently, there you yeah. go. There you we go. got we got a dealer. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> What race class would you like to see in Mythic Legions that we haven't seen yet? There's not much left, but I don't know. Yeah, um, we got wizards now, so that was the big kind of hole in the. We did. We did get the wizards. I mean, when you, it's not strictly D and D, so it's not like paladins and things like that. I don't mm -hmm. know. I I, I never liked those tieflings. I, I never liked those tieflings. Those are, they already always bothered me. I don't know. Man, I mean, I was I'm always game for a dragon. Right? Halfling, yeah. Dragon, oh, everybody's yeah. game for a dragon. <laughs> for a dragon. I mean, I know we're talking big, yeah. big, big sculpts, but come like, on for horsemen. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm always game for dragons, for those kinds of big mythic creatures, the winged thing, you know, just anything with wings and breathes fire is legit with me, you know. Right on. Gorgons. I could go for some gorgons, some snake headed people. Yeah. Um and yeah, bard. Bard, I guess. Yeah, sure. yeah, village people. Yeah, I don't understand the village people. I would love to have that for my pictures. I don't know who's Are collecting you... that though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really know who's really wants like a bartender or a barkeep Why? or the peasants. And Knowing stuff. Anthony, I thought he was talking about like YMCA. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. I may have missed that. I don't know. Mustache. Anthony, you need to clarify. The policeman, the sailor, yeah, the, we policeman. Can, the right. Indian, yeah. The Indian. Oh, yeah, the NECA D&D line. Are you picking up any of those? Are you picking up, like, a War Duke and all those things? Uh, or? No, the only thing I did pick up was this great uh, – uh, he's upstairs in my bedroom by my bed. But, but the, uh, the uh, Hasbro released a, a figure. Gritz? That yeah. oh Dritz yeah 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 and then I picked up I picked up a, I went and got a on on a Etsy I picked up a custom a cape for him oh cool I, oh cool uh, are you a reader are you into that whole line of novels I haven't yet because I'm I'm so steeped in the novelization the Star Wars novelization stuff mm. that like 
I'm just I'm really head deep into reading these books now. Yeah, and just picked up another one today at Target. This uh, book called The Brotherhood uh, uh, by Michael Chen, and it's a story of, of Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. Oh, I can't oh wait cool! To read that one. Yeah, it's. Yeah. And, it's so I'm the, the uh, Drift novels are great if you can get the yeah if you ever dive into those I think there's 30 plus of them but they're, okay. they're fantastic if, if you like the fantasy realm and yeah. which it sounds like you do but I do, uh, I do. Yeah, Star Wars is fantastic too yeah. so we're Legion's focus obviously but I got to know what your opinion on uh, Obi Wan is what do what do you what do you think it's keeping it eh, somewhat spoiler free I mean if anybody hasn't seen the first couple episodes I mean come on yeah. Same yeah. Here. Then yeah, uh, on. Uh, you know, I, 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 I know firsthand that Ewan McGregor has been pushing this storyline, not this particular one, but a storyline of Obi Wan Kenobi for years. Yeah, I've and heard that plus years, where every year he would approach Lucasfilm with a different pitch and a different story, and, it, and so his commitment to this character, yeah, is is paying off right now mm -hmm. this, i think it's paying off i think his performance as obi-wan kenobi is perfect it yes yeah it's just you can see he owns the character and i know that's blasphemous mm -hmm. to say that for alec guinness but he owns this character this character is in his bones he knows his character better than anyone truly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it shows it's showing yeah. his first three episodes there's moments where you're like and and I watch this with my wife. I'm lucky enough for her to have to sit next to me and watch the show. And she's like, oh, "This is really, really good." And I'm like, "It's because he knows the guy he's playing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so good to see him back. Yeah, so, yeah. It's yeah, I don't, I don't think Guinness got got the chance to really stretch the character too much. No. You know what I mean? So no. had, you know, he had two episodes. No. And, yeah, you know, you, know, you just don't ever want to insult the OG. But like this guy took it on. He took it on. He he brought Obi Wan Kenobi to another level and and continues to do so. So I I'm I'm very happy. Very happy. Yeah, I'm I'm thrilled with it. It, it comes off as feeling like almost like a film. Uh, yeah. it's been cut yeah, up. Cinematic. It's been really well done. I think it's the best cinematography of any of the shows so far I, I could, um, you're right you're right i could be wrong it may actually i could be wrong i might i might want to fact check this but it felt like and i'm watching it on an ultra high definition television at home yeah it felt cinematic it felt like it was shot on film film right mm -hmm. yeah cool. yeah yeah it does have the, As the, a, a filmic uh sort of grainy quality yeah. totally. cinematic yeah. Absolutely. There's something about it. It's weird. I can always kind of tell when that when that yeah. is the, the difference between something. But I, I, I guess it. he was on stage at the thing and he and he kind of played around with people like enjoy episodes, you know, one through six and seven and eight and nine <laughs> and ten. And people were like, whoa, whoa, what? Wait, what? what? <laughs> and he's like, oh, no, I, uh, uh. but I, I hear they're 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 picking it up i mean season it's two already right? it's yeah. been greenlit for two it's not hasn't been officially announced but yeah i mean i i think they would be foolish not to uh just from a just from a television producerial perspective right when you see if something is working let's keep it going yeah uh, uh but uh but then at the same time i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if it was limited to the six episodes and then we moved on to something else but 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 uh but it would be it it, it it would be foolish of them not to continue. To yeah, I don't want them to see him belabor it if it's not going yeah. to be a worthy story. If they told okay. the story here in six and it's good to go. But when you've got that kind of talent who's willing to do that kind of show and people yeah. want to see it, it is yeah. tough to like say, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, it's 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 not the Star Wars way to say, no, 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 we're, we're done with that. That's, right. that's all we're going to say. <laughs> Let's uh, milk that cow. Milk it to death. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny that you say that too, because uh, not to bring things back to Ozark, but that but that was part of the conversation we all had. Where, yes. Where yeah. I mean, like, it, we don't want to be... That's kind of the phrase that we've taken on now is that we didn't we don't want to be the, the guest at the party who stayed too long. That's the key. That's the key, That's the key to any key good show. The there, I mean, right. I love The Walking Dead for the first five seasons. I can't they, they I'm like, I just want to die too now. Long. Just <laughs> die. Right. No, no more. Yeah, you've had too much tequila, time to leave. Yeah, it's, it's too it. much, man. 
<laughs> but uh, but but uh, but yeah, no, I think I think it, I think if they do have it, and it's fun. It's also because it's already there. It's already in existence. The 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 the, the legend and the and the story and the history is already in place. And yeah. so there is technically a place where they can come up to you know to just like yeah. and Rogue One come up to a place where we all know and then be done. Yeah. That's it. Speaking yeah, of that's Rogue it. One, doesn't the the Andor series, the trailer that we've seen so far, looks absolutely incredible? Really good. That's fantastic. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm 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 uh, I, I try to be as spoiler free. It's it's unfortunate the job that I do. I've been doing it 27 years. I can look at a movie poster and tell you how it ends. And oh, so, right. yeah, so I push myself away from doing it. But I'm glad that it's it's getting a. Oh, so you have not seen it. I have not seen it. Oh, that's and yeah, you're going to stay away from it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, well, it does look it looks amazing. Which is what I did with Obi Wan, except for the fact that before Obi Wan came out, a friend of mine was like, "Hey, do you have any Lars action figures?" <laughs> just he, just him asking me, and I was like, "So Lars is in Obi Wan, isn't he? <laughs> Why did you ask me for that figure, dude? Damn it! Yeah, and that's I was hilarious. like, "Why do you?" Ask I stayed me? off the internet for. Three months. <laughs> I was so good. I was doing so well. And he's like, hey, son of a are. bitch. And I was like, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Cullen. Hit that like button, please. Uh, uh, obviously helps the channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want. More content like this. I mean, I don't know if we're getting any more celebrities on the show, honestly, but uh, <laughs> it's great. Maybe down the line, if uh, you know, we get Felix to uh, Legion's Con or something like that, we can talk again about that stuff. And uh, yeah, when Cosmic comes out, yeah, I'd love to get your us. opinion of that. There um, are more of us than the, there are more of us than you think. They're just they're, they're oh, I know. Yeah, no, there are. Um, I to come forward, but I'm 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 gonna see if I can pioneer the. Stop, stop like you know stop hiding the fact that you uh it's, i have a i have a very dear friend who's a who will he won't let me say who it is but he's a he's a multi uh a grammy winning singer who has a lot of toys so, <laughs> nice cool, you know but it's but a they, cool well, thing now man right? it's cool it's not Ooh, it's not yeah. nerdy and hide it or i mean right uh, no, I, yeah, I, I was gonna ask you uh felix like how you we talked a little bit about how you approached um playing omar navarro and you wanted to make him seem like an everyman right yeah, yeah. um and it's, it's i mean and you pulled that off um impeccably but i was gonna ask how would you approach um you know 40 50 year old adult people collecting toys how would you make that seem mainstream and an everyman kind of thing but like trevor just said yeah. Now and now it's kind of a cool thing. And on cool. top of that, who gives a flying F? Yeah. Because we love it. And if you don't like it, if you don't like it. Yeah. Whatever, you, right? you don't. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I've, I've, I've fully embraced the, the, the philosophy that you don't, you don't, you know, and it's, you know, uh, uh, M. Go says it all the time on his show, but you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing and so and so i've always i've sort of stuck with that and i've always kept that in my in my in my back pocket whenever uh whenever yeah. people are like you're 50 years old felix and you play with toys and i go i'm not i just play with toys i'm not 50 i just play with toys. <laughs> well i mean i guess I, you can sort of see some correlation too between acting and toys it's it's your imagination right i mean yeah. Uh, like Trevor was saying, with with toy photography, we do. That's our outlet. That's our storytelling outlet. Totally. And it's our imagination. It's a way we can bring it to life, just like you're able to do through your acting. Yeah. And that's all cool, man. Like, you watch the ACBA podcast. Yeah. And, and like, like those them. guys, you know, we're the old guys. But those are the, yeah. they're the – well, they're getting older. Those, but they're yeah, – I mean, but they're also – yeah, they're, they're – They're moving into their 40s now. But, really? uh, but they're, you know, they're cool, man. They – you know, they know yeah. I mean, I think it's it, and you know what's funny? What's interesting is that you don't. You can walk away whenever you want. You don't yeah. you know. You can, and then you can come back. Sure. I, know, yeah. I have many friends who have sold their entire collections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Started yeah. over yeah. again, yeah. buying yeah. the same collection. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like because it, it's because it's part of it to to, to sort of feel like. Like it's not something that you you're gonna be shamed if you if you walk away from or you let it go or you trade off in something and you know it's it's yeah sure maybe the financial hit you might take is like you paid ten bucks for the figure now and then you you yeah. let it go. when you yeah. go back to get it it's a hundred you know and so you get that but. 
But other than that, you could always walk away and you can always try something different. And you can say, what are you collecting this time? Or what are you collecting nowadays? I'm collecting this nowadays. Oh, mm-hmm. I collect that. Like you can come in and out of it in a way that I think is special. And, and sure. Be, yeah. You know. uh, my, my one fear, and I've, I've done a show on this, is um, not being here anymore and leaving this all this stuff to my wife who is going to like hate me twice like burden her you gotta her, have you gotta her, have a plan water. for this stuff you gotta have a friend who like you, listen like when i go if i go accidentally you gotta take care of this shit yeah yeah she'll, yeah she'll put it out in the street and like yes, here, take it. and i'll be like ah, i'll be turning over my grave <laughs> it's funny that you should say that because we actually were having a conversation this morning my wife said so so we're putting together some things that need to start happening now and i was like why she's like well you're 50 and i was like where's where are you going with this hun we're together 12 years so she best and she's from melbourne so she takes the piss out of me all day long as this. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but she said you know what are you gonna what do you what do you where do you want your collection to go and i was like yeah. i don't want to go anywhere it's right here like, <laughs> It's not going anywhere. What are you talking about? You're going to put me in that room with the collection. With and the collection. Put me inside of a detox, okay? <laughs> and just leave me there. Just okay. find me inside of the detox. Stuff yeah. me and just put me in a Stuff pose with a lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, you do. You got to figure that out. You got to like, You got to figure it out, yeah. So <laughs> I, I just think about the daunting task of if there is a point where I go, yeah, you know what? I'm not into it anymore. Like I, I have stuff that I'm just trying to like a pile of stuff that I don't want anymore. I have doubles of, I'm trying to get rid of. And that's just, that takes a long time. It's, it's yeah. a long time. Um, Felix, check it out. You've got a uh, direct invitation from corn boy, corn boy himself. Oh, look at him. around the East coast. Let us know. And we'll have you come into the studio and check that's it out. If you're interested, that's a cool I'd tour. Yeah. That's I'm like uh, Mecca, man. You gotta, you I'd gotta go. Honored. Yeah. I'd be honored. That'd be great. I'll let I'll I'll reach out whenever I'm in the East Coast. I'm not, I mean I'm I'm yeah I'm going back there on Thursday for a little bit and then I'll head off to LA. But but uh, but yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun. I miss there's some toy stores in New York that are just gone. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Comics was a great place to go and find some things from time to time. It's not there anymore. It's changed. It's changed. You know, we were talking about the whole Target and Walmart and all of that, and then there's yeah. those. You know, and then there's the little mom and pop shops that that used to have the really cool stuff that sometimes they're still there, but we I don't I have and I have to sort of talk about going back and starting a new collection. I have to start yeah. a new play, a group of places that I go yeah. to. That, that's I got a couple. It, of, it's extra special when you say you walk into what'd you say a bookstore and you find yeah. like something yeah. like that. Like yeah. that. This place place is it's called Book Off. Yeah, and, uh, and it's just a uh, you know. It's just a it's a secondhand book used bookstore, but they also in a, have a certain section, and you know from time to time they'll just pull out some stuff. You're like, where did you get this? And they're like, yeah, oh, nice. and so makes it the, extra special. Yeah. yeah, totally to find it. Yeah. Cool. The other thing I find is with the even with the mom, I have a small toy store near me, and they have a pretty good selection of stuff. Unfortunately, if it's anything that's hot, yeah. They're marking it up to eBay prices, even if it's fresh out of the box from a you know a wave of yeah. okay, well, riddle which, me this. Which, which this is fine. It's yeah. fine, I guess. Well, this but... is something that I've always been interested in, in in figuring out and having a conversation about. And that is, for example, I also I have a, a side hobby where I collect vinyl records. I I, I like listening to oh, vinyl cool. music. And so and so and so and so I have this, you know, there's this thing called Discogs, which is a great little website where they give you the price of the record, right? You put in the serial number Mm -hmm. and they'll put it in and I'll show you what it's selling for. Hmm. Okay. And it it was just interesting because at at first I was like, this is a great resource. And then someone said, Yeah, but you know, they set the prices on that website. So so the website sets the price. Who who ends up actually knowing what the actual value of the record is? Mm -hmm. Right comes an interesting thing i start to think about that with collecting too like who is it that ultimately says this figure which was released in 1990 and it's now 2022 is now worth 250 dollars right like who is it that makes that decision for us yeah. as it's the market it used to i mean it used to be it used to be wizard magazine you know what i mean or like <laughs> yeah. the, the comic toy book toy. rating guys or the toy uh what was the toy fair um toy used fair. To have like a uh, for, yeah. grading and uh price guide and stuff like that and yeah. uh, i don't know where they got it i guess they just went around to uh 
Would the, the, you know, that, kind of took an average that you know that they saw it selling for because they we'd have eBay back then. There was nothing. That's what I'm to saying. We right, online. right. So like we go like okay, we're like right now anybody could be like okay, cool. This troll, we're gonna. It's now gonna be, and you just set your own price to it, and unfortunately, so, someone yeah. will pay like it. Pablo said it is eBay now. Now you go it to eBay, eBay and you're like. What's it well, selling for? Well, that's that's what it's worth. Yeah, you, know, you look at the it. sold sold prices instead of what's up, right? Right. It's, yeah, it's what it actually a little bit of, was sold for. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then, like I said, go to the cabal and you'll get a better, even better deal. So. And there you go. And then, and then that's the good thing about something like that on on Facebook. You know that community that 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 there is a fair pricing. Yeah, uh, we kind of look out for each other. Ethic. Yeah. That I think is always it's a very interesting thing because we all know we've all been there we've all walked into a store and been like I'm sorry you want how much for that yeah thing? exactly mm-hmm. yeah and, <laughs> and then you go CB CB is right it all depends on how much the most recent buyer is willing to pay basically yeah. that's that's what it is yeah. so somebody um, throws out a price and they go well that's the price and then you go okay well. I don't want to buy it for that price. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I we've talked about this on the show, but like yeah. in, in terms of collecting mythic legions and going back, yeah, and it, and and like you said, like even a, a something that came out on a wave like two waves ago is now yeah. suddenly like double the price, maybe yeah. triple the price, depending on how hard it is to find. <clears throat> Patience is a virtue in this thing, man. You will always find somebody who's getting out. And putting stuff up for you know a good yeah. price, and then they're they're willing to negotiate or yeah, yeah. Or all, all stars wave, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay, pay, <laughs> yeah. And that's the great thing about Four Horsemen is they'll bring back, they'll give you a shot at it, and give yeah. it's the best thing in the world. Yeah, they'll give you a shot at it. Or awesome. now we're starting mm-hmm. to see potential uh, like 2.0 fakes, you know, like mm-hmm. second versions of them. Yep. I'll say this, this is a good thing. question. Go ahead, Bill. Go. Sorry, before we get to that, I was, I was going to say that. You know, like the af- the the difficult aftermarket with Mythic Legions is the it's the trade off we make for having this wonderfully like uh, accessible pre order situation, right? Like, there's so many lines that just hit and they sell out, and they're just immediate. Like you mi- you literally miss it because miss it's it. too yeah. fast. With Legions, like you don't miss it. Like it's a month. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's, it's, it's like I love that aspect of it, and like that tough aftermarket is kind of like the trade off to have that somewhat made to order kind of product like that. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, I did want to get this question in though. Um, oh, I met somebody too took it off. Uh, are you a completionist? I'm not. I'm not okay. in the in the truest sense of the word. You don't it's have to just, have everything. Whether I like it or not, I'm getting it. Okay. So that, there may be things that you you don't just don't like, even if it's I, yeah that I may not like, and or or that that I, I don't feel the pressure to try and have to get it in order to say I have them all. Right, uh, uh, that's the way to be, man. That's yeah, the way to be. I, I, again, it goes right back to that uh, <laughs> factor, man. I look at it and I'm like, that's that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the, that's the thing. It's the it I think I like it. I think you uh, cuddling the troll has has opened up an entirely new line for the four horsemen, and that CB is now saying we need to make plush trolls, which I think is an awesome idea. Actually, plush trolls for for, um, your dog. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Maybe maybe Mythic Legion's dog toys, chew toys. No, he's fabulous. If you were going to sing a lullaby to that troll, which lullaby would it be? Yeah, right. <laughs> or you put you put a little string and you let it go and it, sing, it says something. <laughs> no, but this is just so well made. There's something about the arc, his sort of hunched over arc, yep. and the, the sculpt mm-hmm. of that mid piece that just allows for him to again, just in a standstill position, he he feels still in motion. Yeah, yeah, have a yeah. great presence. Like, on like, the shelf. And, and, yeah, completely. There you got him in a great pose right there. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it's sort of it's just legit. He's legit, dude. And then yeah. you'll get the you'll get the ice one who who comes I with will. that same head. And what's incredible is they'll take the same parts because that's the name of the game in toys yeah. obviously is yeah. reusing parts. Yeah. But what they do with them and the paint that they cup schemes that they come up with them is amazing because they just it looks like a completely different figure. It's yeah. it's, it's great. Yeah, I mean, you start with the sort of, you know, again, I, I've never made any. I don't have any hit, any experience in doing it. I can only say that if you build a proper body that you can then 
expand around, then why not? That's I mean, I guess that's the way that it's. Yeah. Always, there's your basic yeah. body mold, and then you can build all the great stuff around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean the tooling of all those things costs a, a ridiculous fortune. It's insane to to what, yeah. what it costs to make one of these things is nuts. Um, but it's a comfort troll. There you go. <laughs> it's my uh, what do you call that? The my uh, my personal what is it? My my oh uh, emotional support animal. My, my emotional su support troll. <laughs> He's just really cool. He's really cool. I was looking forward to talking to you guys so I can open them up and hang with them. So, yeah. Well, awesome. Listen, um, it is eleven o'clock now, yeah, and you are on the East Coast, and I know you have work, and I really appreciate. We all have work, so I really appreciate you coming on here, man. This has been a fantastic conversation. Yeah, um, thanks so much, Felix. Real pleasure. Thank big you. fan, big fan of your work, and you. uh, love that you're one of us. <laughs> what is the uh, next? The next show is the rookie spinoff. Oh, yeah. No, I'm currently shooting a, a new series for Apple TV. It's it's called Brass is Tactics. It's him? based on a. Oh. Of, yeah. Okay. Cool. It's based on a, it's based on a new. Uh, um, it's based on a novel called City on City on Fire, which is a great. A, a oh great yeah. Novel. Yeah. And, and so they're doing a, a, a series on that. I'm, I'm lucky. I was lucky enough to be asked to do four episodes. So I'll do that. Cool. And then I will go and I will go to Los Angeles. And so what happened was I did two a two episode what's called a backdoor pilot. So right. what they do is they'll they'll introduce new characters in a two episode story arc in an already existing television show. Right. And then use those characters and 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 give them a spin off. Right. So they allowed for us to do a spin off off the rookie. It's called the Rookie Feds and. And it'll cool. be uh, it'll be Nisi Nash and and myself and and a couple other wonderful actors uh, taking on the sort of that uh, formula of the rookie, and just bringing it over to the FBI to the federal. Cool. And you got a movie coming out too, right? Uh, yes, there's a couple of things. I'm I'm working on a on a new Seinfeld movie that he wrote and directed. It's a it's a fantastic, mm. fantastic wow. Project. Oh wow! No kidding. Uh, yeah, and it's a it's a wonderful project. <laughs> it's his first film, his first foray into writing, directing, and wow. Writing. Wow. I hadn't heard about that. That's yeah, really that's really cool. Cool. It's a story. It's about the guys who invented the pop tart. Oh, I did hear <laughs> talk about that. Actually, I think on um, Jason's podcast. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Marlis, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll right. be doing that. Yeah, it's, wow, I'll that's be fantastic. Doing Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Cannot yeah, wait for that. Fun, it's going to be great. Fun, fun awesome. stab, new and different things, yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, again, if you haven't checked out Ozark, go check out Ozark and and look for Felix in the new stuff that he's coming out with. And we hope to see a Legion's Con in November. Yeah, that would that be great. Would be fantastic. That would again, be fantastic. Doors First open rounds on you, Felix. Awesome. For sure. <laughs> Thank you again, sir. Um, Thank thanks, you. everybody, for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you in uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Fantastic. Night, Thank Bill. You, everybody. Good night, Good night. guys. Bye, guys.